Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be seeing that how can we apply basic filters over the data in Microsoft Excel. Now in our previous videos, we saw that how can we do sorting of the data in Microsoft Excel. So first of all, let us understand that what is actually the difference between sorting and filtering of the data. Using sorting, what we did was uh, arranged the data in a particular fashion. Like here you can see the names are sorted in the alphabetical order that is from A to Z. While filtering is completely different from sorting, what does filtering say is using filtering we can give a criteria and all the data that matches that particular criteria only that is visible to us and all the rest of the data that does not match that particular criteria is invisible so that is the difference between sorting and filtering so uh, in this video what we are going to do is start with our so uh, filterings so here we have some data and there are different columns that is serial number order date name item units units cost and total the reason for choosing this type of data is the diversity of this data in this data there is a date column present there is some text column present there is some numerical columns present and some currency or the uh, dollar values are also present so uh, the reason i have chosen this data is because of its diversity so let's start with filtering so a simple um, way of applying filtering over the data is what you got to do is just move your cursor inside the data that is select any cell inside the data uh, which you want to filter and then use a simple shortcut of control shift L. You got to just press control shift L. And when you press, you can see that in the data column, uh, the sorting uh, the filtering has applied, which we do not want. So what we got to do is just select this whole data from the serial number column. Okay. Then again, press control shift L. And when you do that, you can see all the headers that were present over there have been applied with filters. Now, if this uh, super heading that is data was not available, then instead of selecting the data like that, you could have simply selected a cell and pressed Control Shift L to uh, apply the filters over the data. Now, since the filters have been applied, what if you want to remove the filters? How can you do that? All you got to do is just move your cursor inside the data and press Control Shift L and the filters would be removed. Okay. Now I'm just going to press Control Z to bring back the filters. Now let us work with the filters. So first of all is the order date. So if we just expand it, then what do we get is first three options are the sorting options. That is sort oldest to newest, sort newest to oldest and then sort by color, which we all have already seen in the previous videos. Now we have uh, these filters in which select all option is checked. We just uncheck it and select this 2019. That means all the data of the year 2019 will only be visible to us. So that is a date filter that we applied. Then click on OK. And as soon as you do that, you can see that only the data of the year 2019 is now visible and there are only 35 columns. OK, uh, only 35 up till number 35. And how can you check that? You can see after 6, we have got the number as 8. Similarly, after 11, we have got the number as 13. This shows that only some data is visible to us. That means the data is filled out. Now, what if you want to remove the filter? You can just click here and then there is an option of clear filter from order date. You can just click on that and you can see this 2018 record is also visible to us. Okay. Now, uh, that is about date filter, but there is some advanced technique also through which we can apply the date filters. And how can we do that? Uh, you can just click over here and then there is an option of date filters. When you just hover over it, then there are these type of um, all options that we, uh, you got. Like here, uh, you can give a before date, you can give after date, you can give between dates. 
you can give this year next year last year since this year is 2020 and we have got the data of 2019 so we uh, just go to last year if we just click on last year then you can see only again the data of the year 2019 are visible and similarly you can also just go to this option and if a date of today or um, before uh, than that like tomorrow or yesterday is available then you can apply similar filters to the date data so that is uh, an important feature of the filters in microsoft excel second is the name filters so if we just click on it first are the three sorting options then these are the names so you can just click any name like i want only the data of harvard and i just click on okay so only two records are visible which are nothing but harvard's records okay now if I just want to clear the filter, so I can just go to clear filter from name. Then if we, I just want to go to text filters, then what are the different kinds of the text filters that I have? Equals, does not equals, begins with, ends with, contains, does not contain and so on. So you using these filters, I can filter the text that is visible to me. How can I do that? Suppose I uh, go to begin with and uh, i just type a letter j so all the records that begin with the letter j would be visible to me okay and then uh, there is an option of and and or so these are the simple logical operators if you want uh, two records or more than that then i can just click on or again uh, i go to begin with a so either the record begins with j or the record begins with a and I click on OK. So as soon as I do that, you can see only Andrews, Jardine and Jones records are visible because it matches my filtering criteria. And that's how you can filter the textual data or the names data using the basic filter options in Microsoft Excel. Now I'm just going to clear the filters to show all the records. Then I have the units uh, option or the units column, which is a numerical format. So I want to apply filters to it. How can I do that? Just go to the filters tab. And if you want, I can just select any of the values that I want. Suppose I want uh, only the value as seven. So I click on OK. Only two records are visible because their value is seven as per the filtering criteria. If you want to remove the filters, you can just remove it like this. Now, what about the number filters? If I just go to number filters, then there are different options. Now, these are the basic options, which you already know. The new ones are top 10 above average and the below average options. Top 10 options means the top 10 records would be visible. So if we just click on this top 10. So it asks for that what kind of a filter you want to show. So I want to show top how many 10 what items or percent I want to show items and then click on OK. So uh, these items are shown which are having the top 10 values. How can you check that? Uh, to check it, what you can do is just clear these filters, then go to sort largest to smallest. So these values are shown. Okay, now you can apply this top 10 filter very easily. Number filters, top 10 and click on OK. Then you can see only 10 records are visible and these are visible based upon the units column because we have applied this filter on the units column. Similarly, you can just clear these filters. You can clear the sorting as well. OK, now uh, that's about the number filters. What about you want to show the average? So it's above average. That's what you can show only the records whose uh, average is above. Uh, whose value is above the total average of the data is shown over here and that's about filtering uh, using the number filters okay yes now um, similarly the cost and the total will also be treated as numbers so it will have the same filtering criteria now what if uh, you have got to filter some data like um, it's already sorted so i'm just going to apply a number filter that uh, the data must be greater than 70 and i click on ok so only the data that is greater than 70 is shown 
but what if there is some other sheet or uh, some other place in this particular sheet where i only want to show the data whose units value is more than 70 then how can i do that is just select this whole data press control c to copy the data go to your destination or the desired location press control v to just paste this data and then just arrange its uh, dimensions like this then you can come to your original data and clear the filter from units so now what you will have is in this table the data you have is the original data while in this table you have the filtered data so that is how you can separate the filtered data from the original data that is through copy and paste so that is all about the basic filtering options available in microsoft excel that's all for this video thanks for watching